Welcome to CapLink University. We've prepared training videos to take you and your clients or other users step by step through the entire process of setting up and running your CapLink virtual data room. Each video will be brief and cover a small number of activities so you can come back as required and easily find what you're looking for if you're in need of a refresher. In this first video, we'll introduce you to your new workspace, show you how to change your workspace name, how to add and remove administrators, and how to add your workspace logo. So right now we're looking at our dashboard. Initially, you would have received an invite from a project manager at CapLink. It would have looked similar to this. You simply click the blue button, create your password, and you'd be taken directly into your workspace. In this case, we've come back to our dashboard and we see the workspace showing here. I'll click the link and that will take us into the workspace itself. At any time, I can click the CapLink logo, which can be swapped out for your own logo and the entire platform white label for your firm. And this will take us back to our dashboard. So again, I'll click the link, take us into this workspace. So initially, I'd like to go into my settings tab and I'd like to change the name of the workspace. You'll notice there's a blue pencil at the end of the workspace name. I'll simply click this and now I'm able to change it. So I'll highlight it and call this Project Big Company and I'll rename it. So that's been done. Secondly, I'd like to add fellow administrators or remove an administrator from the group. So I'll go into my Permissions tab. As I land here, I see I have an option for all members, which includes administrators, or just administrators. When your workspace is initially set up, you may see that you've got your project manager from CapLink's name listed here. If that was the case, you'd be able to select them from the list, and there would be a button show up in the right column allowing you to delete that project manager from your workspace. In this case, I'd like to invite a new administrator, so I'll simply click the blue button, and from here I can do so. Click into the first name field, and I'll add my user, first name, and last name, and it does obviously require the email address. I'll add them to the list. I could add multiple administrators if I needed to. So I'm adding James Green. I'll scroll down slightly and I see that I've got a blue review invites button. I'll click that button. It shows me that I'm adding James to my administrator group. And here I can customize a message. I can copy and paste it from elsewhere. Or if I'd like, if I've created a message, I could save it. It will show in a drop down menu here. In future, I'd be able to click on that message, edit it, and finally send the invite to this member. Now we are currently in draft mode, so this invite won't go out until I go back to publish mode. But right now, I'll click the add to group, and that message will be ready to go as soon as I go back into published mode. Now the final thing I'd like to do is change the workspace logo. So let me go back into my settings tab, and you see that we've currently got a gray briefcase showing here. I'll go over to the far right tab, workspace logo, click that. Simply enough, I can select the image. This will open up File Explorer, and from here, I can go into my desktop, and I'm going to select the big company logo. I'll start the upload, in just a moment this will be complete, and that's done. So now I can click on my CapLink logo. This will bring me back to, out to my dashboard since we've completed those few tasks.